the importance of checking your mare before having a baby and what to do and how to prepare. So, one of the first things I'm going to do is get her hair braided so that she's going to be able to see that baby when it's born. Nice and stylish. Okay, so cleaned her undercarriage, warm water, and you can see how she's bagging up. You're going to look at the front part. That starts in the very beginning stages, and, and sometimes it even happens with good grass, and the back part. So that's what I'm checking out for. Now, what I check for is each day I get some of the colostrum. I put in my finger. See how that is very liquidy? Okay? It's very liquidy. It's not like honey. You want it to be like honey. Now, I do taste it, and each day, I'll taste it in the morning, taste it at night. I want this to taste like honey. It will taste real sweet, just like what a fool would like. The consistency does change within 24 to 48 hours, a little bit before that. They will get soft. So this, the, the back part, will get soft all around that area. Now, I will take that wrap and I will wrap her tail. She's already been coconut oiled. You want a coconut oil a week before everywhere because you don't want anything to split from the top all the way to the bottom past, about two inches past. Everything needs to be coconut oiled. You don't want any splitting. Think about you in that situation. So, you see how her tummy dips down and it's like to a point? That's a huge sign that she's going to be having that baby very quickly. But it does come. Your main things that you're going to want to look, you can take their temperature because their temperature will change. But that milk will turn like honey. And you know within 48 to 24 hours that that foal is coming. Right now even, she's going to be stalled each night with hay and straw just in case. Plus, I'm going to be coming out throughout the night to check on her. These are big steps and... Hopefully, God willing, there'll be a nice, healthy foal in just a little bit. So, this is vet wrap. You can see that this is placed on her. Now, I like this to be totally breathable. I can stick two fingers in there if I want. And, you know, you can go as close to up here, but it's still always going to slide down. I do not want this super tight. I just want it enough so that, you see that, how loose that is? So that it is keeping the tail out of the way for a successful birth. Another thing that I want you to notice, she's really chill. Everybody else is eating grass, but she's just kind of wanting to be with me. This is a huge sign. She just wants to be with you, following you around. She's already been up to the house a couple times being like, okay guys, okay, pay attention. You can even watch her tummy. It's pretty cool. Sometimes you can see the baby kick. strip this stall. Now I did that a couple of hours ago. And when I did that, I kept a little bit of bedding in this corner, but now I'm going to spray the entire stall with vinegar. So you can kind of see now vinegar is a very, so it's not bleach, but it's a very good way to cleanse the whole entire stall for that baby because that baby doesn't have the immunity until it gets that colostrum in it. And you just want to make sure that everything goes to plan because they're so vulnerable and so tiny. So this is what I do to prepare the stall. And then once this all dries, I'll give this an hour to dry. I'm going to be placing down a whole bunch of straw. Now you want to do straw because with the sawdust that is very, uh, it gets into the air and it gets very dense as far as you don't really want that full breathing that in, especially because it does get cloudy in the air with dust. So you want straw because it's a very soft, supple, and also it's been used for <laughs> centuries. It's just a very good, proven way to bed the stall. I also spray, for instance, my boots and outside the stall, and I'm gonna go spray my utensils that I'm gonna need, like the scissors, the cloths. The cloths I'm not gonna spray them with vinegar, but anything that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get my iodine out, and I've already called my vets, so they're all prepared, and now we're just ready for the next leg of the journey. This mare was in full for 11 months. Now, actually, she gave birth two weeks prior to her full date. So it just kind of makes you aware that they do give birth and sometimes it is earlier than expected. 
Her undercarriage was thoroughly washed with water um, and a mild soap and then rinsed after. And then actually I did put coconut oil on everything just to make sure it's clean. Coconut oil is a very nice, healthy, natural option that is does have antibacterial and antifungal properties. We had already contacted multiple veterinarians to let them know that this mare was going to be giving birth and quickly. Just in case you always want a vet on standby. Also, if the first thing you see is a red bag when your mare is starting to give birth, call your veterinarian immediately. Make sure that you have your bag on standby that has a couple of towels that will warm up your foal after they're born. Also, exam gloves that are latex. Scissors as well, because if there's an emergency and the placenta is not broken or wrapped around or entangled around the foal. So that could be removed immediately. And also iodine for the umbilical cord. Now, in some cases, it's definitely good to save some of the colostrum from the mare the prior year or have other colostrum on standby just in case there's any issues with the foal getting the colostrum. When that baby's coming out, you want to make sure that its nostrils are clear so that it can breathe. I always try to keep some towels right by me so that I can be able to go in there and clear the mouth because there is liquid in there. And see right there, I'm going in for it because that needs to be done. You do not want your baby to suffocate or drown in amniotic fluid. Do not pull your baby out unless for some reason a veterinarian is there and they are saying that that, that is the only way to get the baby out. Just let nature take its course. It is a miracle. Just enjoy every step along the way. A normal foal will stand within an hour, even though their legs are wobbly and sometimes they do fall over. They are born with that nursing instinct to attach to the teat and to make sure to suckle, but you want to also make sure that they are actually drinking I'm gonna go get more the cloths. milk and colostrum. Uh, so they usually will nurse within about two hours. Usually it's about 30 minutes and then they're nursing away. If your nurse is not nursing within 30 minutes to two hours, call your vet out immediately. That is a big, big problem. After about six hours, they're going to pass their first stool of meconium and make sure that you see that happen. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure that you see your full urinate as well. Plus, be checking on mama because you want to make sure that you're checking for both of those from mama as well. We looked over the whole field to figure out where the placenta was. Here we have it. Now, this is a very healthy placenta. As you see, this is the amniotic sac that engulfs the whole foal and the amniotic fluid. So we have this over here. And then what you want to do is you want to place your placenta out as an F. So this is going to be your F. These are the horns where the legs were. And then this is the body. This is the cervix where the foal came out of. So if you look at it all, now I'm, the, you want the, when you open it up, you want the inside to be a bright red color. Now an older placenta will be a little bit purple and then eventually it's going to turn brown. So this is going to be filled with uh, nutrients and flies are going to want to come get it. Sometimes uh, it's very important to save it, especially if there's any abnormalities in your foal, so that you can show your veterinarian this. Now, it just all depends, but this is a great example of what a very healthy placenta is going to look like. That's mama telling the baby that this is good, she's on the teat, and that's where the baby needs to be. So this filly is actually only 12 hours old, not even. So you can see how strong a normal baby is. Now this is about almost a week later, so you can just see how strong. I hope you enjoyed this video here. She is sucking on my finger. She's adorable. Thanks so much. See you next time.